What's up everybody, I hope you're all doing great. Um, in the next few minutes we'll do a quick price prediction and price analysis on Chainlink. Abbreviation Link uh, was quite trending and it's looking fairly bullish as well after some bearish days and, and a bearish week. I mean, I think you all know that. Bitcoin is still at 47,000, isn't looking great, isn't looking too bad either. As you can see, we're just consolidating again, just like the whole month of December. We're now at the, at the bottom of that consolidation. So yeah, this is not going to be an analysis on Bitcoin, but yeah, it isn't, isn't looking bad, isn't looking great. Last analysis was this. Um, I think that's pretty much what happened. It was kind of a hybrid between these, these two scenarios. Uh, ultimately did hit my price target almost spot on. Yeah, it went a little bit above. It's actually, let's actually draw that. It's actually a useful, um, key level, in my opinion. So that's the full key level. So did that drop down from there? As you all know, that was the beginning of last week, I think the 27th of December. Yeah, I think it was. I uh, dropped down together with the whole market. This were, was also some bearish fundamental moves again. So that trend line didn't really hold up. Now it's broken above it again, and I actually think it can be useful again. So, in my opinion, uh, what we'll do next is probably go up to 21.8, find some resistance there. To, it's a strong resistance level together with, together with the 200 EMA. Uh, then if Bitcoin stays stable, at least, I mean, if Bitcoin drops down to 45,000, then this will not happen. And we'll probably see a move all the way down to, I don't know, 18.25. But if it stays stable, I think we'll find support at 20.84, somewhere around that area. So something like this. Uh, and from there, I think we are going to reach uh, 22.77 again. I think that is, this is just almost for sure. I mean, the whole crypto market is of course unpredictable, but this is what I, um, what I think is very likely to happen. And then from here, we either have the opportunity to break it uh, up until probably somewhere like 23.25. Uh, if that happens, we'll take a break retest and we'll probably go up to uh, 24.3 or the same key level again. So from, I don't know what's happening with my mouse, but so from 24.1 up until 24.5. Um, and to be honest, if the Bitcoin, if Bitcoin goes up to 53,000, we might see something like this. Uh, but I think it's more likely that we just drop down from there to, to at least 22.4. Uh, so that's the first scenario. Uh, if that doesn't break, I think it's more likely that we kind of drop down to 20.8. Um, and if, as, as I said, if it remains stable, I think that's enough support to actually try again and try to break this again. But um, uh, as I said, if, if, if Bitcoin drops down lower, I mean, it will first find, as you can see, some support at 19. But then I really think full support would, would be around 18.0. So uh, keep that in mind don't think that's very likely but still you should keep uh, keep every scenario at the back of your mind so yeah that's basically my analysis on chain link full analysis uh, if you have any questions about the analysis please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible um, but as for now thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos bye